I live in New York City, the United States of America. In America, it is very easy to fall into major sins. The fitna here is very high and I cannot practice Islam as much as I want to. For example, interest is everywhere. I, if I want to open even a bank account, I will have to pay interest. There are many more major sins that are being propagated here. My question is, how can I make Hijra to Malaysia alone as a young American woman? I plan to be a gynecologist, inshallah. Please give me some tips. Jazakallah khair. The sister Safa Siraj, she lives in America and she agrees that there, the situation and the atmosphere is not very compatible to the teachings of Islam and there are many major sins that are difficult to stay away from the sins of Raba, of Fitna, of obscenity, etc. And she wants to migrate to Malaysia. She wants tips how to do it. Maybe she has heard my earlier answer that today in this age, according to me, the best of the worst or the best available country for a Muslim to live, according to me, it is Malaysia. I will not give the details which I have given in my earlier answers. But according to me, one of the best countries where a Muslim can live today, that can follow his deen and follow and be a good practicing Muslim, etc. And yet have a modern life, it is Malaysia. So basic question was that how can she, as a young, alone American woman, migrate and live in America? Since you said that you have just close to finishing your high school and you want to be a gynecologist and you are young, the best way I could say is that you should marry a Malaysian because to get the citizenship, to get the citizenship of Malaysia is extremely difficult. Even to get the permanent residency, the PR of Malaysia is extremely difficult. Unless if Allah will, then you have very good, good contacts. It's, that's a different situation. But generally, it is extremely difficult. Unlike many of the Western countries where you spend a few years, you can get uh, easily a uh, PR, you can get a citizenship. In Malaysia, even if you spend 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, the chances are negligible. Coming back to your question. So the best option that I can think is that since you are of a marriageable age, my best suggestion would be that you marry a Malaysian who is a practicing true Muslim. <coughs> and I believe that an average Malaysian is a better practicing Muslim than an average non-Malaysian. I'm not talking about the Arabs. I'm not talking about the Gulf countries. They're on a different level. But talking about the Muslims from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, or the other parts of the world, on an average, an average Malaysian Muslim is a better practicing Muslim than an average Muslim in India or an average Muslim from Pakistan or from Bangladesh. Because, alhamdulillah, the deen is inculcated in them right from the childhood. But of course, you have good apples and bad apples. Some of them are very bad, some of them are good. But on average, they are more practicing as compared to the Muslims from other parts of the world, not counting the Gulf country and the Arabs. The next solution is, if you cannot get a good spouse who is a Malaysian, the next option is that you can marry a good practicing Muslim who has a permanent residency of Malaysia. There are a few hundred thousand who have permanent residency of Malaysia. And if you can find a good practicing Muslim, then also it's quite good because if you marry a PR for you to stay here is very easy. Otherwise, immigration is the most difficult in Malaysia. To get a tourist visa is very easy, but to get a residency visa is very difficult. To get a citizenship is extremely difficult. To get a PR is very difficult. Even to get a work permit is difficult. There are various rules and regulations. So this option is better if you can marry a person who has a permanent residency, then but naturally you directly get a spouse visa. And the children that are born, if you give birth to a children in Malaysia, then they get citizenship. If you marry a Malaysian also, they get citizenship. But if you marry a PR and if you give birth in Malaysia, then all your children get Malaysian citizenship. The third best option that I can think of is that since you want to become a gynecologist, you can do your medical studies in Malaysia. Malaysia has very good educational institutions. 
several, many, where they have for the undergraduates, they have for the graduates, they have for the postgraduates, they have for the PhD, there are plenty of them. So, since you want to become a gynecologist, best would be to do your medical studies from Malaysia and getting a visa for a student is very easy and very cheap. So the next option that I can think of is that you should do your medical studies in Malaysia. The fourth option can be that you can also marry a person who has a work permit but this work permit is not for long since you want to settle in Malaysia if you marry a Malaysian citizenship if you marry a person who has a Malaysian citizenship it is the best next option would be a person who has a permanent residency so that it's very easy if you marry someone with a work permit then till his work visa is valid maybe for one year for two years or three years it's limited he can renew it but everything is not that easy in Malaysia uh, and then you want to come here you can find a job here but getting a job here is difficult because there are umpteen number of doctors both medical doctors and PhD doctors here you find many medical doctors and medical many people who have passed PhD there are so many umpteen number of universities so every year there are hundreds of people who are passing and they are becoming PhD so every time you find a person very often that in front of his name is the name doctor they have to find whether he's a medical doctor or a PhD so getting a job here would be difficult but these are the options that I can think of getting a tourist visa is very easy if you're coming from America and you'll be allowed for I think six months depending upon the nationality some nationality allowed for one month like from India it is one month if you come from some countries like like Yemen etc you're allowed for three months if you come from countries like UK or USA if you have a nationality and you are a UK citizen or American citizen you can come here for six months but you cannot stay for longer than six months you have to go out and come back and it will be difficult for you to settle here so these are the best five options that I could think of if you want to settle here in Malaysia. Hope that answers the question. One more thing I forgot. That the sixth option can be is that you can apply for MM2H. Malaysia, my second home. And MM2H earlier was very easy, now it has become difficult. Previously the rules and regulations for MM2H was that you have to invest 300,000 ringgit that is maybe somewhere close to about 75,000 dollars or less than that and you put in the bank after one year you can remove half the money and you have to prove that you are earning 10,000 ringgit again that's about 2,200 2,250 dollars a month and you can apply and within two or three months you used to get the MM2H MM2H means Malaysia my second home and you you get a 10 years visa you can do everything except work you can settle with the family it's mainly meant for people retired or want to make Malaysia the second home this is the this was the easiest way to get the long-term visa in Malaysia it is very economical you just invest the money you can put in an Islamic bank and after one year remove half the amount and the remaining half stays for nine months recently last year they have changed the rule and they've increased the amount of the MM2H, Malaysia my second home, and they call it the v, VIP visa. Now you have to invest 1 million ringgit, which is about 225,000 US dollars. And after one year, you can remove half, and the balance has to stay. It is for five years, again renewable for five years. It has become more difficult, but the advantage here is with this new money, or if you are married, you put your children in the government in Sabah, Sarawak, then too you need 15 days there and the balance part of there you can stay any part of Malaysia so this was a very good option earlier now it has become a little bit expensive the MM2H visa but yet if you have the funds you can utilize this this last option which is for a long term you get initially used to get for 10 years renewable 10 years now it is 5 years renewable every 5 years hope that answers the question